Hi Kyle One, welcome to your quick little romantic check-in where we're just gonna do a really quick little look at your person, see what's going on with them and you. You have picked the Gentle Heart Tarot cards to start and my favorite heart diamond ring of love, which I actually bought for myself one Valentine's Day. I had eyed it for a long time and it finally, finally, finally went on sale enough for me to be able to buy it. So I always kind of look at it as like my self-love ring, but I always, I always love that special ring. So I hope you enjoyed the intro. Again, it's just a quick little intro. Um, I was at a pool the other day and in Hollywood and I thought, you know what? It just, the pool is so refreshing. It's so cool and crisp and amazing. I have to do a little pick a card video for you there since it's summer, since it's August. I wanted to give you a little taste of it since August is kind of in full swing, almost winding down a little bit by now. So no, it's still in full swing actually by the time I'm uploading this video, I think it still is. Um, but anyways, we're gonna do a little quick check in at your person. I wasn't even gonna do tarot in this reading because it's so quick, but I was thinking, you know what? This is the deck you picked. We're gonna do three little tarot cards and then we're gonna do a quick little check in with some other decks. We're gonna do three cards um, with these decks. So the first tarot card that I get for your person is I feel like they are very much at a distance right now with the world card. So they might feel a little estranged from you, a little distant from you either physically or emotionally, but they are very invested in you and in your future together with this 10 of diamonds or 10 of coins. And I feel with the emperor, they might be focusing on themselves right now, but also I feel like they very much want to take action towards you. So that is cool. That is very good. For romance angels, we're going to do three romance angels. This is what they are feeling in their heart for you right now at this time. And we have finances and career. They are very, very busy, busy working. <laughs> I get though, that even though they're doing that, they feel a lot of true love for you. So this is still definitely a beautiful romantic connection. And I get playfulness. They definitely wanna have more fun with you. If they've been working so much, I do feel like they wanna take some time off and relax with you and have fun with you. I feel like you guys laugh around a lot and you joke and you make your person laugh and you guys have so much fun together and your person really wants to have some of that love and that joy. And then with the messages of love cards, what your person feels in their heart for you right now So your person feels a past life love with you like no other. They definitely feel a strong, strong love. And also it's important for you to know your person is going through a healing right now. So that is also what's going to really help your connection. And your person is mastering the spiritual lessons. So your person is definitely healing. They do feel a little wounded but I do feel like they're mastering the spiritual lessons and that is helping them to progress with you. With the Ocean of Emotion deck, three cards. This is how they're feeling emotionally about you at this time. So build, they would like to have more stability with you. So they're definitely going to try to build this connection to be one that is a lot more stable and irresponsible. So they feel like they've done some things that have kind of messed this relationship up or messed up this connection. They don't like how they feel like they've screwed up. And that is how they know that they need some healing right now. That has been their um, indicator of that, their gauge. So it's good that they know they have the self-awareness that they've been irresponsible. They need to do some healing so that they're not irresponsible anymore so that they can rebuild your connection because that is important. And they're really sad. And sometimes we go through spiritual lessons that do make us sad, that do hit rock bottom or that affect our heart 
And that's what motivates us to make change. That's what gives us the clarity that we have to change and we have to fix things. We have to do things better and do things right this time. So your person is definitely coming into that realization. In regards to the truth deck, I'm going to do six. I'm going to do three and three. And this one came out. And this one and this one. So I get for you time apart. Yeah. And that is what we got with the world. So I do feel like your person does feel at a distance from you or they've needed to take a break. I also feel like they've needed to take a break to build things in their own life as well because they really want a fresh start with you. I feel like they are trying to press the reset button with this connection. And also, it's important too that you notice the signs. They really feel a lot of signs when it comes to you. And I feel like it's important that you also notice the signs here as well. Now, I get walk it off. So I do feel like they're trying to, like, if they're feeling wounded with the sadness card and they're feeling like they need some time apart and then the world and they're wanting to rebuild, I feel like with the walk it off card, like, they're just really needing to, like, shake it off, you know? They need to shake it off. And also, they need more information. I feel like your person might start talking to you to gain some more information because they don't have all the answers with you. And I feel like they're really trying to gauge or sense from you where you're at. They want to try again. So a lot of the stuff in this pile is like, you know, they want to try again. They need more information. They're sad. They want to rebuild. They know they've messed up. They need to heal. They want a new start with you. And then on the back of the deck is love beginning. So they definitely want, I'll take it, an alignment. They're getting back into alignment, you guys. So that is what's very, very important. So they're getting back into alignment. They want to start a new love beginning with you and they want to rebuild your connection. That's great. We're going to do three cards from the Stellar Energy Oracle. Yes. Patiently waiting. Balancing Act. There is a lot going on in your person's life right now as well. And I feel like they're just trying to keep their head above water. They're needing to juggle a lot. And I feel like it's been hard for them with time management, with being able to do this. And I get mirrored souls. The reason why they want to try again with you is because they're noticing the signs that you're very, very similar to them. They are definitely seeing the compliments in you how you mirror them, how you feel very similar to them. So there is definitely a very, very strong connection here in this pile. And they see that. And then with Journey of Love and the Journey of Love 2 deck, we are doing three cards. So your person says, Justice, I am ready to leave and bring you balance. And we just got the card balance that they need to be more in alignment. So they are ready to leave an old situation behind or something toxic or something that doesn't serve them or just something that's over. They're willing to leave it behind now and they're ready to leave it behind so they can start a new beginning with you and rebuild with you, have a fresh start and really bring you some balance in your life. I feel like you might've been feeling a little starving lately. Yes, separation again. This time has taught me so much. So in this time apart, they are not just like twiddling their thumbs or running away. They are learning and they're learning a lot. Like we definitely got a lot of cards of like emotional, spiritual lessons and mastering that. So in this separation, they are learning and they're learning a lot. Sometimes time apart is very good as a catalyst. And then dominating, I need you to tell me what to do. I feel like on one hand, they're feeling they may be a little lost, but on the other hand, they're feeling a little turned on. 
So they are definitely wanting you to dominate or take charge or take the lead right now. But I also get them as the emperor. So they also want to feel like they're in control as well. And they're also taking the lead. So with the hermit tarot, I do get happiness is my priority. You make my heart full. And I want to say what? And I am in so much pain. And we did get the sad card. So they're going through a lot, you guys. They're going through a lot. So I do get, they really, really want to be happy. But right now, they are in so much pain. And they just don't know how to get from here to here. So they're trying to figure that out. But they know that what is in between the pain and the happiness is you. Because you make my heart full. So you're the one that they are very focused on. And they definitely want to, you know, continue with you. I'm going to do another row of three. Okay. So they really, really do want to focus on you so much. They're just so scared. They might be scared of being happy. They might be scared of what they have to do to get there. Or they just might be scared because they might look at love as pain and love as fear. And they've been getting some pretty wrong advice lately. So either they've been telling themselves wrong things or they've been asking friends that don't know any better or whichever. And it seems like they still need more time because they've never felt the way that they feel with you. So I feel like they're a little scared. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to get there. So they may need some, some guidance or some encouragement or some words of love from you. When, when they reach out because it seems like they might need a little help. They're feeling like a little bit like a spinning compass that kind of doesn't know where to go. So there's a little bit of that. And then I want to see some blessings for you guys right now at this time. So I'm going to do three unicorn cards as a final message for what are some blessings that are going to come your way in regards to you and your person. Okay, so the final message for you guys right now, I get it's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are, which is interesting because I get mirrored souls. I feel like they see you as very similar and they see a lot of themselves in you, but that they feel like both of you are very different than normal society. So they do feel like you guys are very special and unique and that you guys are like two peas in a pod even if everyone else is different and they make them feel a little, you know, like they don't fit in. They feel like that's okay because we fit in together. Hmm. There's going to be something new that happens in this connection. And there's going to be something new that you guys are going to try to do together. Maybe a new solution. Maybe a new fun hobby or activity or a fun date. Or maybe the universe is going to give you something unexpected that you don't quite know yet is going to come in and is going to give a blessing to this connection. So there's definitely something new. And it says you'll only know if you try. So when this does come your way, I feel like you're going to identify it. You're going to feel it in your heart that this is the thing that's new. And you're going to be like, this is a gift. I'm going to go with this. This is, this is something. I have to try this. So you're going to feel that. And you'll know what that is tomorrow. It says you'll know in the morning or in a morning soon. But I would say probably when you wake up tomorrow, you'll know. It says when you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. So tomorrow morning, you will know. There is something that will be brought your way. And that is going to be very helpful. And it's a blessing between you and your person. So all right, you guys. This is my quickie little romantic check-in for you regarding your person. I hope this resonated. If it didn't, feel free to check another pile or another video. I do have a lot of videos up, and sometimes we are drawn to more than one pile. Um, if this did resonate with you, and if you liked this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you want to leave a comment for me, I always love reading what you have to say. It's always very cool. And if you have a situation about your person you want me to channel for you, I'm happy to. Just feel free to leave it in the comment section, and I can't wait to channel for you about your situation. And then let me know also if you want me to name you in the video or not, because I'm happy to keep your privacy, and I'm also happy to say hi to you on here. 
So I hope you guys had a good time. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get all updates about when my videos are coming out. And I come out with videos every few days. So until then, until my next video, I hope you take care. I'm wishing you guys lots of love and luck, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading today, where we're just doing a quick, quick, quick little romantic check-in between you and your person. See what the energy is like right now and what's going on between the two of you. Um, I hope you guys have liked the intro because we are into Leo season and we're in the middle of August now. I wanted to show a nice little video by the pool. I was at the pool the other day and I was able to film in this Hollywood hotel, which was really fun. So, no kitty, stay down. Down all the way. No, stop it. He likes, he likes, he sees my dangling bracelet. <laughs> He's a very cute, playful kitty. And you guys have also seen this bracelet. And this is on the pile that you picked regarding your person. So I'm going to wear this bracelet today as a channel for you. And it's a very pretty bracelet with moonstone and with blue topaz. It reminded me of the pool, so it's very pretty. It reminds me of like ocean water, pool water, swimming in the summertime, which I love. And so if you guys feel very drawn and connected to moonstones or to blue topaz, you may want to wear that at this time because it might give you some good energy and good luck, especially regarding your person. So you also picked the Messages of Love cards, which I'm shuffling for you right now to look at your person to see what they feel in their heart for you right now and what's going on with the energy. So I'm going to pull five cards here and then I'm going to pull some other Oracle decks and we will see, I'll pull probably three cards with your other Oracle decks. But since this is your starter pile deck, I was going to give you a little extra energy from this deck before we move on to others. So let's see here. Your first card of what your person feels in their heart for you, which is very strong, is they definitely feel like you are a past life love for them. So that. The second card they get for you is amazing. I get marriage. So your person really wants to move towards a marriage with you, or they feel like this connection could definitely be moving towards marriage. I love that, you guys. Then I get decision. They do have some important decisions that they do have to make. So that is something that they need to do right now. But they are awakening to making this decision. They're going through a spiritual transformation, which is helping them progress and move forward with you. And I get boundaries. So they have to make some decision to have boundaries in this connection, but they also want to move towards a marriage and a relationship. But what's beautiful about boundaries is it really lets us feel safe to progress connections. That can feel very counterintuitive because we can feel like, how would somebody putting a boundary on me make us be able to move forward in our love life? That seems like they're keeping me out. But really what that does is boundaries let them good boundaries, not <laughs> walls and not emotional cutoffs. Those are not boundaries, but good boundaries are them saying like, I can't do this, but I can do that. Or I can do that, but only at this time or, you know, giving some kind of structure because that allows them to nurture and take care of themselves. And it really honors their needs while also giving to you. So that's what good boundaries are. All right. So I do get that your person with the romantic um, angel, romance angel cards, they definitely see you as their soulmate. So they have this awareness and they definitely have a very strong feeling in their heart that you are their soulmate. So they have a very beautiful love with you, even if they have to have some time alone to recharge and that might be their boundaries. So if they've been putting up boundaries saying like, I need some me time, I need some alone time, I love you, but I need to go over here. I just need 
some time to decompress and the you know before I come over or before I connect with you that's okay it seems like your person cares for you so much and they do just need some recharging time and that is okay because I feel like once they do that their energy is going to be strong again and they're going to be able to have fun with you I do get a strong playfulness energy so maybe like after they come home from work they just need some time to you know decompress or maybe you know before they're social again or maybe they just need to clear their energy or maybe they just need to take a bath or maybe they just need to whatever whatever maybe they just need a weekend sometimes themselves so it just seems like sometimes they might need some alone time but it does not take away oh i already did these but it, oh, i'm gonna do it again it does not take away from what they feel for you i will do three more cards because apparently my higher self guided me to take them all right you guys get a little extra extra all right so i get passion yes your person feels so much passion for you in their heart so they definitely feel so much passion and i get true love so again you guys have so much love soulmate passion true love you know this is a very strong bond i can see and they just need a little balance so they're trying to have some balance. You or they may be a Libra. So, especially them. So yeah, so they just need a little bit of balance, but they have so many feelings for you, which is great. Now I wanna see, what do they feel for you emotionally at this time? So with the Ocean of Emotion cards, one, two, three. How are they feeling? How are they feeling? So their emotions for you right now, they might feel like if they've made you mad or they've pissed you off with their boundaries, I do get the isolation, nobody cares card. So if you've been like, okay, cool. Well, if you want some space, take a lot of it. <laughs> um, they may feel like you don't care or they might feel a little lonely. So they care for you a lot and they want to make sure that you still care for them. They might be feeling a little lonely. Or if they're like, I need to take some space right now, I need to retreat and I need to balance my energy and these are my boundaries, they may be feeling like, all right, you know what? I'm done. I'm good. I'm, I want to come back in and, and be with pile, you know, pile two, be pile of tile two now. Um, I get desire. They deeply desire you. Definitely. They're very charged up. So they're very connected to you. And then wise. They definitely feel like they're trying to be wise in this connection. And they feel like they've been making choices based on their wisdom. So you may or may not agree with these decisions. <laughs> but it does seem like they've been trying to make choices that are good, that are honoring of you, and that are helpful. Yeah, low vibes. It seems like when they're feeling very lonely, their energy is a little low. And that's exactly why they need some balance. So that's what happened. I was putting these cards back. And I thought I put it in this deck. But I didn't. But it came up here. So you get it. And it says build. I would like to work together to have stability and build a strong connection with you, which makes sense because they want marriage. They have true love. They have passion. They have all these things. Passion. Lack of passion. That's funny. I don't think so because they have so much passion for you, but they might be feeling while they're alone in the retreat energy isolated that they have a lack of passion and that's why their desire has been building up for you i feel like it's because they've been receiving less passion from you and that is where they're having low vibes and they're feeling isolated and i feel like that's a little bit more what they're experiencing yeah they also might be dealing with some family issues or some family conflicts right now that could be something that they are going through that they're experiencing but I do get romance is yours. So you definitely have a lot of love with them, a lot of romance with them that you can have if you want. And they are opening their heart and they would love for you to open your heart to them. So if you guys have had a little falling out, if you guys have had a little tiff, if you guys have had a little like, oh, I don't love these boundaries, then I would say that, yeah, that there may be needing to be a little bit of you guys opening your hearts because, gosh, there's so much underlying that. There's so much there, like this one. Throwing shade. Yeah, I feel like that you guys may have said some words to each other. And you might have said some stuff that you guys don't quite love that you've said. 
and I feel like you guys might want to take it back. I feel like, or maybe you don't, maybe you are fine, but maybe it didn't truly represent how you guys love each other. So there is that. Now in regards to Stellar Energy Oracle, you know, we all go through stuff. We all go through little speed bumps in connections. All right. So in regards to this, I get literally, this is the second card that I got that says true love for you. So you guys have so much romantic love. I love this. And I get burdened heart. I do feel like they have so much love for you, so much passion, so much all that, but they do feel a little burdened. Oh, and parting ways. If you guys are trying to make a decision about like make it or break it with this relationship, I feel like they feel like their heart would be so burdened and they would feel so sad if you were to leave them or if you were to walk away. So I feel like they feel very sad about that because you're a true love to them and you are their mirrored soul. So they definitely feel very strongly bonded with you, very strongly connected to you. So there is that situation. And then the Hermit Tarot, want to get a little Hermit Tarot, figuring out what they would say to you at this time if they could. They could tell you the truth. Love is the answer. I always love that song. So love is the answer. Definitely a song that is beautiful. And I love that. I'll put that link in the um, description box if I remember. <laughs> if you guys are watching this and I forgot to put it in the description box because I'm uploading it later today, just put in the comments, oh my gosh, you forgot to put that song. But you know what it is? It's like, love is the answer. You know that song? I forget. I don't know. I'll put it in. But anyway, it's very cool. So that's a good one. And I meant what I said. And it's, I think it's called I Believe. Um, I meant what I said. So they defi definitely like meant it when if you if they said I love you or that you're their true love or that they have so many feelings for you they were honest about that when they said said that to you so they want to just tell you that they meant what they said but I feel like the harsh words they may have said to you they maybe mean them they meant them in the moment but it really wasn't accurate in regards to like the love they feel for you so then I get you hurt me but that's okay I guess yeah, you guys have been going through a little rough patch. So there's a little speed bump here. There's a little rough patch. And they're saying, you already know that. You already know that you guys are. And, you know, you already know that maybe your person's feeling a little hurt right now. But again, I don't feel like it's a forever hurt. I don't feel like it's a forever speed bump. It's a little rough patch, which is a temporary rough patch. So there is this. Um, then I get... The journey of love, journey of love two. Ooh, those ones want to talk to you for sure. I get, and these are going to be your final messages. So I get dreams. I am so proud of you. So your person is really, really proud of you. It's important that you know that they encourage you to pursue your dreams. And also I feel like they have been having a lot of dreams about you. And then I get betrayal. How could we do this? I feel like they're hurt by this rough patch. And they're like, how could we betray each other like this? I really felt like we meant more to each other than that. How could we disrespect each other when we talk to each other, when we feel so much love for each other? They feel like they want to make up with you. And I feel like they feel a little regret and a little remorse and that they feel sorry. They really want you. I get the aggressive I want you now card. So I feel like they want to kiss and make up or something else and make up. Um, I get that I am lost without you, emptiness. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of like missing you in this pile, a lot of emptiness without you, a lot of feeling hurt without you. And then I'm so cold without you, warmth. Yeah. So you guys might be, I don't feel like you guys are in separation, but I feel like you guys have tons of passion and feelings for each other, but it might not be going so well at this very second. But again, I feel it's very temporary. I feel like you guys are going to be good. And I feel like, you know, just revert back to the love that you feel for each other and you're going to be okay. So that is what I have for you, my beautiful pile twos. I hope this resonated with you. 
if you don't feel like this was your situation or this wasn't, you know, vibing with you, that's totally cool. Feel free to pick another pile. Sometimes we're drawn to more than one pile or maybe there were still some messages in here for you or maybe another pile has more messages for you. Um, if you, and I also have other videos, you might want to pick another video. If you did like this video, I'd love for you guys to like it, comment and subscribe if you want to. Um, if you guys are new subscribers, feel free to hit the notification bell because that will get you all updates for my videos when they come out. I release them every few days. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and I can continue to channel for you regarding your person. And if you do have a specific situation that you want to know about in regards to your person, let me know in the comments and I will totally channel for you. So until next time, I am rooting for you guys. I feel like you guys can make up and I will talk with you soon. Thanks guys for watching. See you later. Bye. Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading today, which is just a quick, quick little check-in with your person. See what's going on with them, what they're thinking and feeling about you, what's going on in the energies today. So you guys have picked this beautiful flower diamond ring and you guys have picked the Stellar Energy Oracle card deck to start off. And I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of that quick little intro where I was at this pool in Hollywood over the weekend and it was so nice. So I was thinking, I was like, gosh, I need to take a little pick a card video for you guys here while I'm here because it's very fun, very sweet and refreshing and it's very August and everything. So I wanted to just share a little bit of that with you. I always love with these videos, I can just like share experiences with you. Now, the first card that popped out is true love. So I feel like for you, and I even put this in the center, so this is like the indicator. So I would say for you, your person feels so much true love for you. There is a lot of love that your person has for you. And I think they feel it and I think they really know it. I'm going to do five cards here because this is your main deck to start. And then I'm going to do some more Oracle cards, but Definitely, I feel like strong with true love. And that is the overarching theme for this, for you guys, for this pile and for your person. I feel like the details of this connection is that right now, even though they feel true love for you, their heart is going through a big burden. So they're feeling like there's a lot that's been heavy weighing on your person. And I feel like they want to break free from anything that's been holding them back and been burdening them, restricting them, anything that maybe they've been drowning in hard work or maybe they've been held, held back by other big blocks and obstacles. Because look at your person as this horse just racing forward, trying to take charge and race towards you, taking action, breaking free. And I feel like while I know we're checking in with your person, I feel like this has been you. I feel like that in your person a little bit too. I feel like your person has been waiting for this to be over, their, their burdens to be over so they can break free and charge towards you. And I feel like for the mo most part, like they know you've been patiently waiting for them. Like you've been there waiting for this situation to pass or waiting for them to break free and break out of it. And you've been waiting and you've been wanting them to move forward. I feel like they've been kind of closed off lately. They might not have been sharing with you what they've been thinking and feeling, and they might have been keeping it a secret, or maybe you know they love you, but that they've just been like not wanting to let you in right now. So I feel like they might have closed up, or they've been closed off, or they haven't really wanted to share it with you. However, look at the wedding bells card you guys get. So I do feel like you guys could be moving towards a major relationship like breakthrough. So I think this is amazing. They also might be a little bit plagued with how much they feel like a marriage or a wedding could burden you or burden them because I feel like they might be a little intimidated by a commitment like that big, but they're going to take action on, on it anyway. They know that you've been waiting or wanting this. And even if they've been closed off to the idea of marriage before, I feel like they're going to be breaking free or breaking out of that kind of restraining thought or restraining belief. 
because I feel like their feelings for you are very strong with the true love card and they're really wanting to like break free from their rigidity or from their traumas or from what holds them back. And if you've left them over this, if you feel like maybe you have like left them, I do get the reconciliation card that comes out and I get the worth waiting for that one. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are in for the long haul because I feel like there's a lot of divine timing at work in your connection here. So first I get the reconciliation. So if you guys have ended this connection or if you guys have broken up, I do feel like that they might be returning to your life because they have a lot of love for you. And even if they've been closed off and you've been patiently waiting for a while, it seems like you guys can progress towards these wedding bells. And also, I just want to say with this pile, because I'm releasing this video most likely middle August, there has been a lot of tricky energy for fixed signs. So if you or your person are a Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, or Taurus, you guys might be going through a little extra rocky energy here. And the reason why is because we have a lot of planets that are squaring you making a grand cross right now. Now, other signs, you guys might be kind of drawn into the crossfire a little bit as well. So just know like August is a little bit of a tricky energy because of Saturn in Aquarius and we have Uranus in Taurus and I believe we probably have Mars in Taurus by now. Um, I have to look it up. I'm sure we do. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of squaring stuff. So it's been a little rough. Um, I would say that also though, that they really want to rebuild. Am I dropping it? Did they drop you? Did you drop them? Okay. Um, I get trust. So I am getting that they want to rebuild the trust in this connection. And I get the worth waiting for, which is a second card of waiting that you got. And this is a very quick check-in. So you're not going to get a ton of depth of cards. So I would say that the cards that you get are very impactful because they are more, it's more selective, this reading. So I would say that two cards of waiting are a lot. So I would say that there's a lot to that and that, that they feel like you are worth waiting for and that divine timing is at work in your love life right now. Now, in regards to their messages of love for you, I get, let's see, addiction. They may be battling some addictions or they just may have an addiction to you or a very strong connection to you. So I feel like they may be trying to, you know, struggle with or work through some addictions. They also might feel like you guys are on different pages in your life right now or in different pages in regards to like what you believe and what you think. Um, it seems like they want to make, they want you guys to believe the same things and have the same values and they want you guys to have the same vision for your future together. Literally, okay, when I said, you know, that like there's not going to be super, super many cards in this spread because it's a quick, quick check-in, quick reading, you guys get true love also twice. So that's also very, very, very important. So it's good for you guys to know that you guys get true love twice. So I feel like they're kind of really struggling to make this work because they feel a lot of feelings for you. And now they're just trying to see how do we make the dynamics work? How do we make the details work? So now I'm going to look at ocean of emotions. See what your person's feeling for you today. What are their emotions for you? So emotionally they are going through, I'm going to do five. You guys are a little bit of an interesting pile. I am sure you agree that your person is a little bit of an interesting person and this is an interesting scenario. So I would say strong. I feel like your person's emotions today are very strong and they're feeling a, like, like strongly passionate, but I'm also feeling that they're feeling a little insecure and very nervous. So they are feeling very nervous. It says my anxiety is worse than ever before. I am constantly worried and insecure. Exactly, that's what I just said. Uh, exactly. And then regret. I am filled with fear and doubt. And this literally, this person is holding a wedding ring. So if you've been wanting them to marry you and they're like, I don't know if I want to get married or I don't know if I want to get remarried or I don't know about this marriage. I don't know about that. It's definitely like your person may have commitment, fears or worries about marriage or weddings 
or they may just feel like they have commitment fears regarding taking this connection to the next level, which you might be very confused by since they have so many feelings for you that you can tell and that you can see and that you can feel. So they may have a little trauma regarding this. So I would say it might be that they just maybe need some healing or maybe you guys need to talk about what you know is really important or maybe timetables or schedules and stuff because they know if I get the unhealthy card, they need help. So I feel like maybe your person might need a, like a little therapy right now or maybe they just need somebody to like help them work through and process what they've been going through in their life. Yeah, and then deceive. I've been lying to myself and to you. So I feel like maybe they were telling you in the beginning, like, oh yeah, of course I would want marriage one day. But then when it got closer to it, they were like, oh, I actually, I don't know about that. Yeah, mm, I don't know. I don't know actually if marriage is something that like I could really do, but I love you. You know, like that kind of thing. So I do feel like your person is working through a lot right now. Um, I'm going to do some, yes, I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to do some truth deck. Let's see. Ooh, seeing clearly. I feel like they do see clearly now and they're not deceiving themselves anymore. And I get children involved. Okay. So there are some children that might be involved in this connection, which might be affecting whether they get married or they might be thinking like you might be like, I want to get married with kids. And they may be like, I don't know if I want kids or I don't know if I want marriage, but I would do kids. But it's, or maybe, you know, they're getting a divorce right now and they're like, I don't know if I would get remarried or I really want to get married because I have kids or you may want to get married because you have kids. Like there's a lot of stuff and you'll know with your person, with the children involved and the marriage card and their nervousness and their regret and, and all this stuff that, you know, you'll know what their feelings are in regards to kids and marriage. So I do feel like that your person might need a little help right now. So there's a little bit of that. Try again, yeah. And I also feel like they regret how things happened between you guys and they do wanna try again. So there is definitely like that desire. And I get let it go. So they wanna let go of their burdens. They wanna let go of the unhealthy things and they want a fresh start with you. So I do feel like they are trying to work on this. They are trying to work through what has been burdening them, what has been holding them back, what has been traumatizing. I feel like they're trying to restructure their beliefs and they're trying to work through their blocks, but it's hard and it's not easy for us to work through our blocks, you know? And I get results coming. So they do see clearly now and there will be results coming. So I would say that your person is more, it's about looking at the progress instead of are they there, have they changed their mind? Your person does feel alone and I do feel like they do have that vibe. So I do get that. And also if there are children involved, they might be hesitant to deepen the commitment here because they may be thinking like maybe for the kid's sake, I need to be alone for now and not rush this connection because they need a time to adjust. And like that might be what's going on. But they do want to try again and I do get relationship improvements. Sorry about the glare, you guys. But they do want relationship improvements with you. So that is good. And I do get they want to let go, let it go of their energy blocks. So they want to let go of their blocks and their energy blocks in this connection because they do really want to progress. And then I get fear and worry. So they really want to put this fear and worry aside. But, you know, they did get a lot of nervousness and a lot of regrets. And, you know, they have a lot of, um, you know, painful energy in their in their in their situation right now. So they might need a little bit of patience or they might need a little bit of understanding and compassion. And you probably have given them a lot of that, maybe too much of that. So maybe they need maybe an next level help. Maybe they might need a little extra help, professional help. Or, you know, maybe you guys need to just really talk about, you know, what the resistance is. What is the fear? How can you guys soothe each other? So now we're going to look at... Oh, well, we just did Stellar, but we're going to do it again because I did it and we're going to do it. Okay. This was your main deck. So apparently you need more messages from this. They are very seduced by you. I get the pure seduction card. So they feel very connected to you, very passionate towards you. And they might need some time out to just kind of regulate their emotions. Their emotions are really strong and kind of like, like and agonizing actually. And then I get burning passion. So I feel like you know that they have strong chemistry with you. You know they have strong passion, but 
I feel like with your person that your person is just feeling like they need some time out to kind of get to a place. Yeah, standing firm. They need some time out so they can get back to standing firm on their own two feet again. I feel like that's something that's very strong. And also the passion is not going to go away. But they do need to breathe in. They do need to take some breaths. Maybe they need to meditate or, you know, do some therapy. <laughs> that comes through strong. Because there is definitely something like that. Um, so, so there is that vibe. So they definitely need soothing. They need healing and all of that. But the passion for you is strong. And then I'm going to do some Journey of Love cards and we are going to wrap up. So we're going to do some four. Four Journey of Love cards. So for Pile 3's person as final messages about them right now, I do get homecoming. It says, I promise I'll be back soon. So your person will be back soon. And I get, wow. All right, you guys. You know what we've been talking about this whole reading? About how they feel like they've been resistant to marriage, but that they want to work on it and they were trying. Look at this. Wifey, marry me. Marriage material. Fulfillment. So they're working through it. I feel like they're going to get there. It might take a while for them. A long time sometimes for some of you. Shorter for others. But marry me, wifey material, and wedding bells do come up. So they do want that. That is amazing. And in the event that you're the one that's scared of marriage or worried about marriage or the kids involved, I, and they're the one pushing it and they're nervous if like you want it or not or what is going to happen with this, I would say that like, you know, they're very passionate about you. So it's okay if you take your time getting there, but it seems like they, they really love you. And then I get doubt. I don't know what to do anymore. So I feel like for them, they're just really still trying to figure out like some solutions. And again, I feel like they feel a little insecure. So they may doubt their abilities or themselves, but I think you have faith in your person. And then I get destiny. I want forever with you. And they're literally holding hands with the wedding ring. So that is cool. And you guys picked a wedding ring as well. So I love this for you guys. I do think that you guys have a very beautiful energy together. I love all the true love cards that come up and all the passionate cards. I do feel like you guys have a good bond and I am rooting for you. So this is a very specific pile. So if you feel like this was not your pile, not your situation, that's totally cool. There may still be messages in this pile for you or you can always feel free to pick another pile or another video. If it doesn't resonate, that's not a problem. This was very specific. And sometimes we get drawn to multiple piles or multiple videos, and there may be more messages in there that resonate with your specific situation. If it did resonate, I would love for you guys, if you liked the video, to give it a like and a thumbs up. If you guys wanna leave a comment, I always love reading your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so that you guys know when I put up new videos. I do that every few days. So I can't wait to keep channeling for you and your person. And if you do have more specific situations we can look at for you, just let me know. I'm always here for you. And you can always leave in the comment section if you want to talk to me privately or if you want to send me you know, a message or a comment about your situation and I'll channel for you about that. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little quick, fast check-in and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.